What's up everyone, I am Steven here with Tiny House Listings and today I'm excited to share with you the all new redesigned Model Tiny. So in this video, we're gonna give you a quick rundown of all the new features, all the things that are new, and we're gonna just give you an overall tour. So this is the official introductory video to all new Model Tiny. Okay, so we are in the front of the Tiny House. I kinda of thought I'd show you some of the features that are going on with this house and point out some things a little bit different than the previous. So if you look behind me, we have like an accent wall that's on the front and that's made out of locally milled cypress wood. Uh, we get that from a local supplier here in North Carolina and we seal it with high performing polyurethane that's made to last for years and years so it'll keep it nice and bright. So that's the first thing. And then if you look at the entry door, we've actually made it the entire front thing glass, right? So in the previous it was a grid, it was half the window, whatever. This allows a lot more light in and it just looks really nice and it's made out of tempered glass so you don't have to worry about it going down the road and breaking or anything like that. So then moving above that, you'll notice we've used different exterior lights, black. Those are kind of have a modern Scandinavian look, which we really, really like. So if you notice behind me, this tiny house has two huge picture windows. They're five feet long and four feet wide, each one of them. And once we go inside, you'll be able to tell that you have really big views while you're laying in bed. So it's almost a 180 degree view while you're inside the house. Not only that, obviously it allows a lot of natural light to pour into the home. So in the previous model, we did just a shed roof. So the front side was higher and the back side was higher. And we did that for a few reasons, uh, but we found out that wasn't actually the best look. Uh, we think this looks a lot better. So we actually did multiple pitches on this roof. So in the back part here, you can see it's a more steep pitch in the front. It's a less elevated pitch, and that way you can actually put a loft up there, which you'll see when we go inside. And looking at the front, we actually we had it a slant in front of the door, so any water that comes will not go over the door. It won't drain down to where you're trying to get into the door. Uh, so we really think that looks good. And we also upgraded to a nicer black metal roof, more modern. We think that looks amazing as well, which hopefully you think you do as well. So in this particular model, we upgraded and did even more windows. We did a double window here, and these are black as well. So we've started moving over the most part, moving to black windows versus the white ones. We just think it looks good, looks a little bit more modern. So this one has a ton of windows between the double here and then the large picture windows, the entire glass door. You'll see when we go inside, there's a lot of natural light that pours into the tiny house. So as you can see behind me, this tiny house, when you're inside laying in bed, there is a lot of natural light, which I've said repeatedly in this video so far, but also big, big view. So if you had a tiny house parked and there was some picturesque landscape in the back, it would be amazing, you could wake up to it. Now, if this was my tiny house, I would absolutely put shades on there. You could even go so far as to put timers. When they raise up, that's when you know it's time to wake up. <laughs> but we have this stage here with a queen bed. It could fit up to a king bed. You can do a single bed, you can do a double, totally up to you, your unique situation. The smaller the bed, more uh, room you have in this open layout for a living space. Uh, we staged this for a little seating area for kitchen. You could do a desk here that doubles as a kitchen area, as a seating area, just totally up to you. We also just put a small little couch in here. You could do that however you want. You could even do a couch as a sleeper. Pull that out for guest space if you want. So now we're in the kitchen area, as you can see. We have upgraded, big upgrade to quartz countertops. Um, these are very, very heavy, but they're well worth the weight because they're very durable. And as you can tell, they look very nice. We've actually put a larger sink in here, a little bit wider than we typically do. Two burner cooktop. Uh, really, really nice upgraded cabinets with the soft close all the way through. So we really, really like this layout and you've got lots of storage here. You could put clothes over here if you wanted. You could put your kitchen utensils, more storage above that, full size apartment fridge. If you look above here, the way this is laid out with the, the roof line, a little bit with less pitch, you could actually sleep up there. Now that's up to you because there's not an egress window. So officially it's not a sleeping loft, but there's plenty to sleep up there if that's what you decide you want to do. And we could outfit it with a ladder to go up there. So now we're in the bathroom. This is pretty much a full size bathroom. A lot of apartments you'll go in will have the same size And this. Remember, this is only a 24 foot tiny house. We have a really, really nice vanity here that has a marble countertop built in. Full size flush toilet. Uh, over here, it is wired and plumbed up for a washer and dryer. And above that, you can put huge shelving if you want full-size um, stand-up shower and it's made with the favorite material we love to use which is uh, PVC tiles and that actually comes out really really well. Um, we have multiple different types of roof lines and here we have shiplap that is made out of pine and it's white and then in the rest of the uh, house it's um, pine raw wood shiplap. So this tiny house has a lot of things going on for it. In our opinion, it's one of the nicest tiny homes we built so far. So we really hope you enjoy this tour. The Model Tiny has been our most popular model. It's in over 30 states, and this is the same layout as the one we had before. It's just a lot of different upgrades, a lot of different layouts, more things going on, and we really hope you like it. Uh, let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Is there anything you like, any things you don't like? And uh, either way, I wanna let you know this one is for sale still. We got a lot of interest. Click the link in the description, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.